conditions of flight. It's the 10th highest mountain in the world. It's 26,545 feet, whereas, of course, Everest is just over 29,000. Both um, Everest and Annapurna, of course, have been climbed. And in each case, they've been climbed by their easiest routes. And the significance of the climb that we're trying to do is that we're trying to tackle a particularly huge and difficult face. And this is a step forward in mountaineering. Now, this, of course, will call for special equipment. I believe you have been testing special equipment here on the Welsh mountains. How sophisticated has climbing equipment become since the Everest expedition? Well, equipment has developed, of course, immensely in the last um, 15 years or so, particularly in the development of um, artificial fibers and also nylons. Um, and this has meant that I think the clothing will probably be considerably better than they had available at the time of Everest. We are using quite a lot of uh, man-made fibers, special artificial fur jackets, um, similar in principle to the ones used on Everest, but of a, a stronger and improved um, kind of material, uh, special coralli cotton terraline um, anoraks, which are in fact, uh, we're using a huge amount of fixed rope. We're using altogether 13,000 feet of fixed rope. We're using special tentage, which has been developed so that it can be used on very, very steep ground without the use of guy lines. It's more like kind of tiny little boxes. Um, and this will enable us, we hope, to live in comparative comfort, even though we are on a very steep face.